All right, in this video, I'm going to be converting a uh, high impedance microphone to a low impedance, and I've sort of already got it apart. Uh, these are really common. It's a Shure Prolog 10H High Z dynamic microphone, and these are not wired like in a traditional sense of a regular microphone. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, so let me bring it up a little closer. So. These will be labeled pins one, two, and three. Um, it'll be labeled on both sides. So three is in the middle, two is over here, and that one is over there. So you get a little notch. This particular microphone being high impedance is not a balanced input or output. And you get the ground tied to your pin. Um, Let's see, I believe that's pin one, pin one, yeah. And they have the signal going on that also, and then pin three. But what it should be is pin three and the other one that's not soldered. So, and then this one should just be grounded. So you'd only be using these two. So what we're gonna do, um, and if you have any questions about this, when you open up your microphone, you'll, you'll look down in here. And you'll see there's something bundled up in there. Now, I've already pushed this out before, but like you take something like this and just shove it out, okay? And so what we have inside of here is a little auto transformer. And you basically just want to bypass that. So... When we're looking at this here, we can see that these two wires right here were going to the pin 3, and then this was going to pin 1. And they had these two here going to the switch, and then to the microphone element itself. So, anyway, I'm not sure of any application that uh, I'd need this for ham radio, guitars, or, or you know, audio or anything. Um, maybe some old radios that have a high impedance input and flip it backwards. Um, so the element itself is right here and it should be low impedance. And if we take our meter, we'll just go ahead and check it. And I think we'll find that it'll be below 600 ohms. When you do this, make sure that you don't touch both of the things with your fingers. Because what you do when you do that is you're conducting through your fingers. Let me do like this, set it down here. It's 0.604K, so that's 604 ohms. So it's not real desirable for like, you know, pro audio, but it'll work for what I want to do. So we've also removed the switch. That's another thing you will have to do. And there'll be a little screw down here. So anyway, now we have the body of the microphone. And what we need to do now is we need to get this piece back in here, hook it to the switch, run the wires from here to pin two and three only. And according to the Sure website, um, I found conflicting information. Pin three could be hot, pin two could be hot. Um, and basically you just have to test it afterwards to see if it sounds funny. So I'll be back in a minute. So I mean, once you get this thing soldered up, you want to put it together in two pieces. So solder your pins two and three here. Um, and then depending on your microphone, like this one here is going to go back in this way. And... Of course, it's hanging up. And so, see, I just shoved that back down in there. And we'll have to put the screw in later, but I'm going to leave it for now. Make sure when you assemble it, your wires are longer than needed be because you'll have to uh, spin this piece in here and twist it. So, the next thing we have to do is we take a microphone. Let me see if I'm on camera. Okay. This switch here is basically in this position, shorts this out. And, um, so you're just going to put your red and black across here. And when the microphone's on, 
it's in this position and it's not shorted. So that's how that works. So let me finish this up and I'll be back. Okay, so you should have it looking like this at this point. And now you've got to try and fish this back down in here. And I used a little bit thicker wire than normal. So it's going to make it slightly difficult. I'll probably have to coil it up carefully. So I'm not going to waste time doing that on camera. So once you get it to this point, make sure and double check that you have the switch in the correct position. Is uh, You want it to where it's on here and off there. Unless you just choose to want it differently. So then you just take this thing like this. And you put it down in here. You might want to actually twist it first in the opposite direction. Before you wind it into here. Because uh, you have threads on here. And it threads into the body of the microphone. So if you twist it first like I'm doing right now. And you just get it down in there. And then just start to spin it back in until it stops that way you won't break the wires off inside so there you have it and uh, these are common microphones um, very cheap but they have a nice like metal body to them this one's so cheap it doesn't run a thread on here correctly so now I should be able to use this for basically anything now. So, there you go. Thanks for watching.